the year 1967. Uh, this, this year, this year, the Soviet state celebrated 50 years of uh, more or less its, its existence. Say, uh, uh, well, in the 50 years uh, anniversary of the so-called October Socialist Revolution. And uh, in order to commemorate this uh, date, they organized two big international tournaments, one in Moscow, one in Leningrad. And, uh, well, there were, there were all, all even rumors that, uh, that Bobby Fischer was going to was ready, was eager to take part in one of these tournaments, even without uh, any extra fee, just to play. And this, well, there were rumors, and the, the Soviet authorities were thinking over and decided not to allow him to come to the Soviet Union. What the hell would happen if uh, the American citizen would, would win the tournament commemorated to the 50 years of the, of the Soviet state? No, so, so the, the, the tournaments had been played. Uh, the stronger tournament in Moscow was won by Leonid Stein, and the weaker tournament in Leningrad was won by me in a fight with uh, uh, Grandmaster Holmov, who finally was the second in, at the tournament. So I won uh, several um, interesting games, and uh, well, I'm going to show you one of those. Um, Well, a time ago, uh, the world champion, then world champion Mikhail Botvinnik, said uh, uh, that uh, well, a young player has to uh, arrange his opening repertoire the way that he would never play against himself. What does it mean? It means that well, if I uh, if I play the uh, Grunfeld well, with black against d4 and, uh, and French defense against e4, I should not play against, against the French myself. Well, somehow to adjust it, well, to know and uh, to avoid um, if uh, I would meet um, openings which I, which I play myself. Well, but... Uh, well, I got tired already to, to play uh, um, closed openings, and finally, so I decided to, to take the challenge. The, the guy wanted to play the French against me, I take it. But, if possible, I would avoid uh, the most modern lines. That's what I had in mind. So the, the most solid and the, well, the modern line is after bishop d3, c5, c3, uh, knight c6, knight ge2, queen b6, knight f3. That is, that is the most solid line. And uh, well, I prefer to to avoid it, so instead I play knight f3 here. So this knight will protect the pawn d4, and the other knight will hardly be able to to protect. Now knight b3 is not possible because of c5, c4. So so uh, should I take on c5? No, that I that I would not like, especially being an expert of the French. So I I sacrifice the pawn. Uh, well, in the full, as they say, in full awareness what I'm doing. Uh, 
<coughs> you see, uh, some time ago, uh, I played uh, blitz games with Efim uh, uh, Geller, and uh, it was his idea to sacrifice a pawn. Well, he used it often, and uh, and here he played uh, well some move with the queen in order to to put the queen onto the king side. Uh, well, to to get a good initiative along the black mm, against the black king. So that is what happened. Uh, by the way, here there were games uh, where, where the people played queen c5, and uh, after queen a4, queen b4 back, and uh, and if queen f bishop takes h7, so so they they would change queens, and uh, and the position w would be about equal. That's what happened in some mm, already played games. In, well, instead, in uh, in the blitz games, uh, Geller played queen after queen c5. Geller played queen e2 against me, and then he used. Uh, then, yeah, then he used uh, a tempo um, occupying. Uh, later occupying the C file, so he had he had always mm, a very strong initiative. In the game, in the game, uh, the man played H mm, six. According to the well theoretical knowledge, G six is stronger. Well. H6, bishop d2, queen b6. Just a moment. So, uh, certainly castling is possible, but then queen g4, attacking, or threatening with bishop takes h6, and uh, well, with, with very strong very strong initiative and after f5 queen g6 would be would be played so so instead my partner uh, a grandmaster from yugoslavia he preferred to play king f8 especially because bishop b5 bishop b5 and bishop a5 both mm, both uh, already both move already threatened uh, yeah so by the way this game appeared in the book uh, well mm, which was published several years later uh, in uh, the country which is called now Estonia but time ago it was uh, Estonian Socialist Republic. Uh, well, and the book was published by uh, Grandmasters Keres and Ney, and the book was just called Four Times Twenty Five. Uh, well, the book was published in the year 1973, when uh, uh, the only hero who was, well, who was rising and who was supported by the all, whole might of the Soviet state was Anatoly Karpov. But the book published 25 games of each grandmaster, of Grandmaster Fischer, Larsen, Spassky and me. And this was a clear political protest against, uh, well, the Soviet against uh, attempts of the Soviet state or to raise um, um, Anatoly Karpov as the only hero. Okay, the book was published and uh, here, by the way, they uh, uh, suggest immediate, well, 
they suggest immediate queen g4 and then h4 and h5 uh, in order to not not to allow mm, black freely to free to play g6 and king g7 well but i have something something else in mind uh, so I, I I play a little bit a little bit different way. So I played I played instead of H4, what again mm, was uh, strongly suggested by Keres and Ney. Uh, instead of that, I uh, I played something else. I played Bishop A5. And the idea was to play then Knight D4 and Knight B5 just to 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 blockade the queen side of black uh, and uh, well finally finally gradually to mm, prepare the assault on the king side yeah that was that was my idea so this happened this is very good move otherwise uh, otherwise after knight d4 it's na na even rook c8 would be difficult to play bishop b4 well, the question, mm, Black uh, has difficulties to, to develop himself. And let's say if he takes now on b4, then queen takes b4. And then if king, uh, queen is 7 then simply queen takes b6. Uh, Taking on b6, then rook takes c8, uh, changing, uh, changing, uh, well, winning the queen, and white, white has a one position. Just, just one, one of the variations showing that black um, has uh, serious difficulties. Uh, yeah, so he played g6, and now I played, uh, well, uh, a tricky but strong move. And uh, black is now, uh, how the English, English people say, bound arm and foot. He cannot, he cannot move. And the threat is, the first threat is bishop takes g6. Pawn takes g6, queen f6 check. This is the, this is the main threat, but, uh, but there are many, many others. So he played g5. And this is, uh, well, more or less the best way to somehow to uh, free um, black's position. G5. No, it's a pawn sacrifice. He gives the pawn back. He cannot take uh, on b4, by the way, because of knight e6 check winning the queen, the black queen. So. So he played king e8. Now, now check. And now, uh, no, nice move. The next move is very nice. Uh, look, he cannot take on the six with the with the bishop because the king. Well, king is hanging. He cannot take um, on b5 with the bishop because queen is hanging. Knight takes knight takes d8. He cannot take, uh, <laughs> he cannot, uh, no, just a moment, after, after bishop takes b5, something else is happening. Yeah, I had forgotten that the, the queen h4 is hanging. After bishop takes b5, the following thing happens. Knight g7 check, king f8, knight takes a 5. No, knight, excuse me, simply, knight, knight f5. So now he cannot take on b4, he cannot take that, he cannot, he cannot even protect the bishop, because after knight c8, knight c8, rook takes c8, is winning. Well, let's say, let's continue, queen takes c8, bishop takes c7, uh, well, if uh, king g8, queen g4 is mating, And if uh, mm -hmm. if if King e8 after after Bishop takes e7, 
then knight then knight d6 so everything everything is clear so so knight knight e6 of course of course wins set the game well he, well he he must take on d6 now check now rook rook c3 threatening Certainly mate in two, rook f3 and uh, queen f7 mate. And now, uh, now, well, the best perhaps is queen e8 here. So we continue, this is a line. King g7, uh, now, Mm, I think rook f6, threatening mate in one, queen g6, then rook h7, then uh, bishop d3, rook takes e6, winning. Yeah, <coughs> yeah so. Uh, in the game, he played rook h7, queen g6, certainly again mate in one. Uh, now it is certainly mate in several moves, uh, just, uh, um, well, the queen h8 is threatening, rook g3 is threatening. In the game, in the game he played bishop takes b4, rook g3. And he cannot he cannot protect the the rook uh, because because of queen queen h8 check so queen h8 check and may made the next move yeah so in this position in this position black resigned 